China and the U.S. began direct contact at the vice ministerial level and are preparing for high-level trade talks in October. That will make the 13th round of high-level talks. So far, the trade negotiations can be described as protracted. The U.S. adopting a realistic attitude is key to reaching agreement. Previously, the U.S. set its own ideal goals and sought to transform China through them. This is unrealistic. China and the U.S. have different understandings of fair trade. The U.S. hopes that China will lean toward its understanding of fair trade. But there is a limit. It cannot damage China's national interests, weaken China's development capabilities, or endanger China's national security. The U.S. says that the Chinese economy has been affected, which will force China to yield. In fact, the affected areas do not involve China's development momentum at all. China's science and technology are advancing, so is its construction of fundamental infrastructure. Important areas of people's livelihoods are improving. China is fully capable of absorbing the temporary difficulties caused by the trade war. That's why a China-U.S. agreement must result from mutual compromise.